This is BTG Milsom, and today I'll be reviewing the Massif Combat Shirt. To start off the review, I'll go over the features of this shirt first. The fabric, the multicam pattern fabric, is a sort of stretchy t-shirt-ish fabric. It's, it feels a little bit stronger than t-shirt, however, this lighter material right in the middle that would wick away moisture from underneath your plate carrier or other tactical gear is a much thinner and sort of, it feels like a, sort of a boxer material and is much stretchier. This shirt also comes with many pouches. There's a zippered pouch on each shoulder, well, sort of, sort of shoulder, right below your shoulder. I'm guessing this is a pen or just a small tool pouch right on your forearm, right here. The sides come with your standard, kind of standard Velcro. You got your flag, you can put, I'm guessing, a large IR reflective patch here. I put a Feral Concepts patch there. You got your name tape. On the other side, there's a large section of Velcro where you can put all sorts of patches, any size patches, really. Now, all, also on the left-hand shoulder, there is this pull tab right here. And as you can see, there is a small piece of IR reflective material. And if you don't want that to show up, you just cover it up with that little patch. Now another feature that I really like are at each of the elbows, there is a padded material right here. Now depending on how your arm is situated inside the shirt, this padding may or may not land right on your elbow. I would prefer it to be right um, on the pointiest part of your elbow, but for some reason there's no padding right here where your pointy part of the elbow would be. More, It's more situated on the outside of this circle shape, and that's more of, let's see, the outside, kind of outside of your elbow if you're bumping into walls or something. It also has this, these little dots of a, a sort of plasticky material. This create lets it slip around, so I guess if you are dragging your elbow across a wall, it won't get hung up on the fabric. Now getting into the elbows a little bit more, as you can see on my person, it does sometimes cover up that pointy part of your elbow. However, the fabric can get turned on you, and you can end up with your elbow right there, depending on where this fabric lies, is it's kind of a big question mark as to if you're going to be protected or not. Another standard feature of most combat shirts is this Velcro closure right at the wrist. Now at the top you've got your mandarin collar made of the same material right here. Now it doesn't have a zipper, so it when you're putting it on it can be tight around your head, but once it gets through your head, Around the neck, it's perfectly fine. Now let's get on to the review. I got this off eBay for about $30 shipped. I've run this shirt about three times and put it through about three washes. I might have done more than that. After three washes, the, ma the material clearly, you could clearly see that it faded to a more um, sort of desert kind of tannish look. Now for those of you that don't care about fading, or say that fading helps the multicam blend in better, this may not be a problem to you. I'm, I'm not too concerned about it either, however it is something worth mentioning. While I was running the Banshee with this combat shirt, I found that the under flap actually would catch here, and it's actually gone ahead and pulled little strands out of this material. So you might want to be careful when you're rubbing Velcro against this softer material, the wicking material. Uh, there shouldn't be any issue rubbing it against this t-shirt material, it shouldn't pull up any strands. Another issue I was having with this plate carrier was these cuffs right here. As you can see, this is multicam material. However, if when you get the Massive Combat shirt right at the box, it comes with this really thin sort of flimsy 
loop right here and you can see that it's pretty badly frayed. This is only after three games. I had to go buy some multicam velcro loop and I had to sew it back onto the cuffs otherwise I basically couldn't use these velcro closures. Now I believe the same loop is being used across the entire shirt so I'm kind of expecting this velcro to give out. Luckily it's not as high use as it would be at the cuffs because you gotta keep taking this on and off to put your shirt on. Whereas I can leave these patches on and I don't necessarily have to worry. I only have to take off these patches when I'm put putting it in the wash. And you can see how it looks like on me. I'm 5'7", 145 pounds. And you can see that uh, this fits me quite well. This is an extra small. I know Massif has their sizings on their website, so you might want to check them out to figure out what size you need to order. I also really like the fabric and material that this shirt is made out of. The sort of t-shirt material is nice. It's a big step different from your regular BDUs or your regular shirts because usually that material is more of a jeans like a thick jeans sort of material, cordura, etc. This is actually, it feels more like a t-shirt, which is very nice. Overall for 30 bucks, this shirt is quite nice. I wouldn't spend more than $40 on this shirt because it may not be as durable as you would like it. If you want a shirt that's more durable and in the multicam pattern, you will probably have to start saving up your pennies and going for one of the cry shirts. But for me, this is just fine. I don't plan on wearing multicam all the time, and desk pat or desert mark pat blends in better at the field I play. This is BTG Milsom, and thanks for watching.